Part 2 of Netflix's docusery Simone Biles Rising was just released, and, among other revelations about Simone Biles' experience at the 2024 Paris Olympics, Part 2 revealed brand new insights into the Olympic champion's injury that almost prevented her from competing. At 27 years old, Olympic gold medalist Simone Biles is largely considered the greatest of all time when it comes to gymnastics, and for good reason. Biles' numerous medals and competition wins make her the most decorated U.S. Olympic gymnast in history. Despite Biles' many awards and clear talent and grit, however, this has not been an easy road. After stepping away from the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, which were held in 2021 due to COVID-19, because she was suffering from the twisties, Biles faced intense backlash and criticism, and her Olympic future seemed uncertain for a time. When she was confirmed to be heading to the 2024 Paris Olympics, there was significant fanfare, but an injury to her calf almost ruined her chances. Now, Simone Biles' rising has revealed just how serious that injury was. How Simone Biles injured her calf at the 2024 Paris Olympics. Images of Simone Biles crawling due to her injury circulated online during the Olympics. Simone Biles crawling after her injury at the Paris Olympics in Simone Biles' rising. Simone Biles' injury during the 2024 Paris Olympics quickly made international news, and images of the athlete crawling across the competition floor went viral. During team warm-ups, Biles had done a Yurchenko double pike, which has also come to be known as the Biles 2, one of several gymnastics moves now named after the Olympic gold medalist. As Biles ran toward the vault, though, she felt an odd sensation in her left leg, and, as she said in the Simone Biles rising docuseries, she just knew something was off. At first, Biles believed she had torn her Achilles tendon, a very painful, but relatively common, for gymnasts, injury that certainly would have meant the end of her time at the 2024 Paris Olympics and could have meant the end of her gymnastics career. That was not ultimately the issue, however. Although it wasn't revealed to the public until the docuseries, Biles' injury had been a calf strain slash tear. According to Simone Biles rising following this injury, Biles impressively managed to push on, but both the injury and her decision to wear a boot as a precautionary measure following the incident caused plenty of speculation and concern, particularly in the media. This was connected to all that had transpired in 2021. Because there had been such negativity surrounding her choice to exit the 2020 Olympics, in Simone Biles' rising, Biles admitted that she thought, people are gonna think I'm quitting again. In terms of media coverage, many expressed worry that this would mean Biles needing to pull out, but in the end, she persevered. Simone Biles' calf injury was more severe behind the scenes than she revealed at Paris. Simone Biles put on a very brave face, but her injury was quite serious. Simone Biles with her eyes closed at the Paris Olympics. When Biles' injury happened, it was difficult to discern how serious it was. Because she had been crawling and then hopping across the competition floor, it was clear she was injured, but with a professional athlete like Simone Biles, it can be very difficult to tell from a distance how much pain someone is really in. Even as she was crawling and hopping on the competition floor, she was smiling, and her performance remained incredible throughout the Olympics. Simone Biles' rising revealed the injury really was quite extensive. In fact, not only had Biles suffered the strain slash tear, but also, she had already endured a hyperextended knee and calf muscle tear, on the same leg as this tear, while training for Paris. In the docuseries, Biles explains that, while she could still walk normally with most injuries, this was different, evidenced by her need to crawl or hop. Biles' distress is also quite evident in Simone Biles rising in a way that it wasn't during the Olympics. Why Simone Biles still competed despite her injuries in the 2024 Paris Olympics. Biles' docuseries proves her ability to overcome obstacles. There was no one reason Simone Biles didn't exit the 2024 Paris Olympics following her injury, but there were several factors undoubtedly weighing on her decision. As mentioned, Biles faced a shocking amount of criticism for her decision not to continue in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, and, as revealed in Simone Biles' rising, she didn't want to be perceived as a quitter. It's also evident that Biles is simply a fighter. No matter the obstacle, Simone Biles seems to always come back stronger. There's also the matter of age, which Biles herself explained in the docuseries. While 27, Biles' current age, is by no means old, in the world of gymnastics, Biles is certainly considered an older competitor. Had she walked away from the 2024 Paris Olympics, it very well could have meant her last year competing, and it would have been a shame to have it end in that way ultimately, Simone Biles not only overcame her injury but also brought home multiple wins. 
Biles left the Paris 2024 Olympics with three new gold medals in vault, team, and all-around, bringing her current total up to 11 Olympic medals, seven of which are gold. Clearly, Simone Biles' injury didn't stop her, but Simone Biles' rising makes it clear that she had a major obstacle to overcome at the Paris 2024 Olympics.